Okay, this is on the Matthews job, number 53508, installed on 322 by Aaron. <clears throat> okay, so what we're doing is we are replacing this furnace with a 90% uh, furnace. Um, the new furnace will, well, that's what gets to the shows. It'll sit on a base of our filter box and then a 90 and this 90 will sit tight against the sheetrock here um, and we have a return air here so we're gonna replace this one um, that return air with a 24 by 8 flat grill and we're gonna add a return up air up here with a 24 by 8 flat grill um, so we need more return than what they have to make this work um, so have that and then 90 and we'll just have a little piece of duct that comes up with an end cap um, and just cut out the back of this equivalent to at least an 8 by 20 and uh, and we'll let the wall suck for a grill up high and one for up low with the wall. Um, on the top of the end cap, just tie on the two existing six inch rounds and just go into that end cap. Just tie them back into the top of our end cap however you can. Um, or if there's a better way you see, <laughs> as much air as we can get in there, but um, with these two grills, we should be okay. It'll be a plus. Okay. Um, okay, so I give you a cut line right here and a cut line right here. So you're just going to remove this piece. You're going to reuse all this. You're going to add a six, eight, six inch extension on this here and reuse the 90 up here and add a starting collar um, on this side and then add a, a 45 degree starting collar just here um, so yeah starting collar there I give you a canvas we need to cut an inch off each side so it's only six inches length and then uh, these are going to be the same size, that and the canvas, so you can use the canvas here or here, whatever works best for you. But then just, you know, that little piece. So you're just going to reuse all that duct. Add turning vanes in both these 90s, this one and the one down below. Um, okay. Okay. So, um... Okay, so combustion air is okay, right there. The vent, on the water heater vent, I'm just gonna um, take off all the aluminum. Gonna put a six by four reducer on there and also add a six inch cap on top, uh, bird proof cap. And then I have a six by 18, or sorry, a 90, prevent 90, six by 18, a 90, and a three foot piece and then draft hood then just four inch to the water heater um this wall right here the ac is going to sit right out this wall as well as the flues um so we're kind of a a mid you know the ground level is like right there so um but yeah, so your flues, just two inch PVC to a flat termination. Just don't let them drip on your AC. And your AC will uh, sit beside it. Um, new line set to it. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, this is a Sylvania panel. Our electrician needs to run power from here, just out the back to a new disconnect. And then just 
normal. So we'll need to order a 20 amp two pole breaker for that. Okay. Um, so bad. All right, so gas, um, we're just gonna, from the caulk, add um, a two, a drip leg and a flex into our new furnace. Okay, AC to north. Um, okay, so we'll go over the drain in a second. So um, stat, we need a S30 stat. So we need to pull a new wire because the existing thermostat is just right over there. Um, don't know how we're going to get a wire to it. Um, but it only has two wires, so we'll need to pull another wire somehow to that. <sighs> Hopefully it pulls. Um, power, just reuse the switch. I'll give you a new metal cover for it. Okay, so the drain. A couple different options. There's no drain in this room. The water heater drain goes through the wall, and I'll show you that in a minute. But then we have this stack here. Um, so I think probably the best thing to do, I'll give you a condensate pump. Because um, I don't think we can get three quarter in that washer stack. <laughs> So I'll give you a condensate pump and just pump it down with that drain and into this washer room right here. And this is where the uh, that drain comes down for the water heater. But you can see it's not even hooked up to anything. It just drops down. So would be nice to put a T in here, but I don't know with the washer drain right there. I hate to it to overflow. So probably just put a pump and, and put it into the washer stack right here. If, uh, yeah, yeah, that'd probably be the best. Okay, that's that. Okay, what else? So, okay, so the AC is outside. Talk to my friends there. Okay. So the AC and the flues are both going to come out here um, to the north. Just new pad. And that is about it. The roof. Let's see when I pulled up. Yeah, normal ladder. Just replace the six inch B vent cap on the roof. It's on the front side, but um, okay. Thanks.